Hill climbs and uh, rally cross are really the two great sports for electric motorsport. Good morning everyone from the top of Pikes Peak. I'm here with Volkswagen who had me come down to check out the IDR Pikes Peak which is their all new fully electric race car participating in the unlimited class of the 2018 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Electric might seem like an odd choice for Pikes Peak but there's actually a number of advantages that electric powered vehicles have over gasoline powered cars. Electric has been the way to go for Pikes Peak for a long time. It's just that the technology wasn't there. The, the companies that had the engineering prowess to build a, a viable um, racer just weren't coming to the surface. Pikes Peak is a battle for us. The reason why we're starving for air right now having this conversation is because there's 50% of the air up here as, as you would get at sea level and the engines feel it more than anything. Um, so electric obviously doesn't have that problem. Um, you can place the weight where you want it with an electric car. There's so many advantages to having an electric car at Pikes Peak that it's if it's not this year, next year, the year after, I mean, it's in the very near future that electric is the only way to break a record up here. The race has been around for over 100 years, and of course, when it first started, it was completely unpaved. So well, like 156 turns, 12 something miles, totally unpaved. Technology came in, they had to pave the road, but for a while it was like partly paved and partly unpaved. And the cool thing about that is that teams really had to manage their tire strategy. Do you have something that's great on pavement but crappy on the dirt? Vi or vice versa. So that was really good for tire manufacturers to prove that they had something that could work both ways. It was just known by the weather of the spring sometimes whether or not there was a, a potential record-breaking year just from the conditions of the road. Now every year is a potential record-breaking year which is cool. The IDR Pikes Peak is powered by a 500 kilowatt dual motor electric power plant that puts out roughly 680 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Thanks to the two electric motors it has all-wheel drive and active torque vectoring. But even the most advanced car can't make the course any easier to navigate. Visually it's a difficult race for the drivers. There are guardrails up now and then you get to this point where we're at Devil's Playground mm -hmm. right now and here and beyond the visual cues go away. It's you're on the moon. There's no trees. There's no spectators. It's yeah, there's just no life up here and um, everything is a blind corner so it's very very difficult to learn the track and uh, some memorization is an absolute key in Pikes Peak. Volkswagen has made clear that their goal for the IDR Pikes Peak, at least this year, is to break the E record for the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. That record currently sits at 8 minutes and 57 seconds. The overall record for the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is a time of 8 minutes and 13 seconds, set by Sebastian Loeb in a Peugeot in 2013. In qualifying, the Volkswagen ran a 3 minute and 16 second time, which is 7 seconds quicker than Sebastian Loeb was able to manage back in 2013. This ultra-fast qualifying time gives the IDR a huge amount of potential to break both the E-record as well as the overall record, barring any mechanical failures or bad weather on the racetrack. Uh, if there's any team that has a chance of breaking Loeb's record, it's the VW guys. You know, when you have only one shot, I think it, it, the nerves are a bigger factor. Um, you, you know, it's not like an endurance race where you can make a mistake on a corner and then that's fine. you got 23 more hours to make that up. Does the IDR have what it takes to become the fastest car up Pikes Peak? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you're curious how the IDR is going to do on Sunday, the event will be streamed live online. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, be sure to come back to TFL Car for the latest news, views, and real world reviews. Thanks.